So I bring all of this up to bring up the main reason why I even wanted to talk, touch on this topic today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is sure where the episode it. gets good. Yeah. We haven't really touched on the homosexual talk yet. Right. Right. And I'm not really touching on homosexuality per se in this episode, but I did want to bring something up, which is the pressure that we have today to support a lifestyle that is not godly. Whether it be friends, family members, co-workers, our neighbors, anybody really around us. When we see them living a lifestyle that's ungodly, sometimes we might feel the pressure to support them. Maybe we don't hear it from them asking us to support them, but maybe we feel pressure like, wait, should I at least say congratulations when they get married? Mm. And it was two of the same sex and they got met like, should I say congrats? There's yeah. mad people saying congrats. And I like the picture because I work with them. Um, when I see them at work and I hear that they got engaged to somebody of the same sex, like mm. I'm bringing up the homosexual thing because it's very close to my heart yeah. when it comes to this because I've had so much around me. Um, and I wanted to bring this up right here. Okay. This is a real life situation. Dwayne Wade, the NBA player. Dwayne Wade, the NBA player and legend beast on the court his son is gay he's like 11 years old he's come out he's gay he's cr he cross-dressing it sometimes and he's going to the pride marches and the pride parades and Dwayne Wade s stood next to him and supported him now obviously Dwayne Wade is an unbeliever a non-believer but there were many people in the comment section that were saying God bless you Dwayne God is going to bless you. God loves you for standing up and supporting your son, mm. showing him love no matter what, and, and making it seem as if Dwayne Wade supporting his son coming out as gay is the right thing to do mm. as a father and just as a person in general. When we see this, and I click because I'm always, I'm like one of the top comment readers. I love going in comment sections just to read people's response to whatever I'm looking at. Mm. And when I saw that there were so many Christians supporting that right there, it upset me. You know what I mean? It, it, it made me feel a certain way. Um, and I wasn't feeling positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm saying. And so I wanted to bring that up today to the listeners and all of us right um and this goes for not just Dwayne Wade and his son this is music yeah. um this is the culture in general this is uh movies this is tv shows all of that stuff that you know when we see stuff that is just unacceptable why do we feel the need to support mm. like why do we feel that pressure and what do we do with that yeah you know what i mean that was yeah. what i wanted to bring to the table today yeah um also, you even wrote on there unmarried couples having sex. That was something else I wanted to bring up. This yeah. isn't just about homosexuality, y'all. This is about heterosexuals shacking up. It's about having sex. Right. It's about holiness, you know. Holiness. Right. right. The pornographic culture. Yeah. Um, blasphemous and antichrist attitudes. Yeah. Celebratory over sin and anything in violation to God's way found in scripture. Um, the yeah. selfism, drug culture, personal experience. Right. With with pressure to support ungodly lifestyles and all that, yeah. right? Yeah. And I wanted to bring that up. Do you guys deal with that? Those of you that are out there, you've dealt with that. Yeah. We can even make that a, a quick question too, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um Yeah, the the pressure to conform, the you know, that that is my question coming up yeah, too. Yeah. And, and I think you know, we have all these outlets that and you know, the the, the 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 social media outlets are, are good but they create a different dynamic you yeah. know uh of pressure so when i see a picture up or i see a comment and i don't comment you know what i'm saying or even try to engage in some dis disagreement with something that's posted yeah that happened to me once you know what i'm saying uh somebody posted a family member posted something and i reacted to that in a way where i disagreed and man it was it was tough yeah it was it got personal you know what i'm saying so it, it, the not liking the liking the ignoring uh why are you you know liking and feeling this and not that like 
social media is making that more difficult. Yeah. It ex it, it's exposing us to a greater level. For you sure. Know what I'm saying publicly speaking, you know. For sure. So we don't we don't have the comfort of, you know, uh being at home and not unless you don't have social media or you don't interact out there the very fact that you're open with your social media accounts and and things like that twitter facebook whatever it is you're putting yourself out there yeah you know i i struggle even sometimes when it comes to like i just saw one of my youth uh from like well i'll bring it up like this when i see somebody that is having a kid right they got the girl pregnant or whatever they're pregnant and I know that they're not married to that person they got pregnant to. Mm. I struggle sometimes even like when I want to put congrats. Mm. I'm like, wait, so I celebrate the life of the baby that is being born? Mm. Or if I if I do that, am I compromising by undermining or, you know, treating that sin of sex before marriage as, yeah. as not that important that's, compared that's to difficult. the life being born right there. That's I, difficult. I, that is. And, and I'm not going to lie. There's many times where I'll just put congrats because I'm happy. Like, yo, yeah. <laughs> baby. And then right. some part of me is like, they're posting this because they actually want to keep the baby. So I'm like, word, yeah. like, yeah. at least they're not aborting the baby because yeah. I know plenty of women out there that are getting rid of the baby and won't ever mention that they were pregnant. Yeah. So I'm like, congrats. Yeah. That's but then tough. it's like a long congrats in my head. <laughs> I'm like, ah. And so, look, this is just going to get harder. You know, uh, we're going to be inundated with so much, you know, blatant sin, man. Uh, it's just going to get more. Yeah. When do you draw the line on when you support or don't support your loved one's sinful lifestyle? Man, that's almost like a case by case. Yeah, I think so too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I it's think so too. Very difficult. Uh, I think you'll know. You know, and through conviction, um, you want to engage your family members. Uh, you know, and the the reality is, unbelievers are going to do what unbelievers do. Yeah. You know, so how do you engage and maintain a seriousness about their condition and still like? maintain a healthy relationship with them For because sure. they're your family members that's i don't think any of us can do that perfectly no no you know what no, i'm saying no, and no, so no. we're gonna hit the bumps we're gonna trip we're gonna fall uh and make those mistakes but man as long as we continue to engage in a way that's christ exalting as mm -hmm. much as possible i i don't even want it, that's very tough uh <laughs> I yeah. had a family member bring a, 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 a child over, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we, we, we thought we loved uh, on them. We, we embraced them. Um, and I think we're going to continue to share the gospel. That's all we do with yeah. our family members, you know? Um, but that's, that's you know, is <laughs> so difficult, yeah. you know? Uh, to, you want to take joy in something like a child being born. But then you don't want to joy in the fact that they're still in need of a savior. Yeah, you yeah, know? this, yeah. I, 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 I this difficult. isn't really part of the topic today, but I even think of cases like Solomon being born. Right. That's bittersweet, man. Yeah. When you like realize like the union behind that, like that's yeah. tough, man. That's yeah. tough. That's so. That's such a gray area. It's hard yeah. to really speak on those type of topics right there. So that that's a good example, man. I'm glad you brought that up because that shows us that even through the craziness, God can at the end can still redeem it. Right. So God can still do something. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. I think that's a good way to think through that, that at the end of the day, God will get glory. Yeah. And we should pray that they should also somehow enjoy glorifying god at the end yeah, i uh, i was watching all. the bible tv series with my kids the other day and that's when they were like wait why are they happy <laughs> he stole his wife and right. you know that my kids were upset they were like yo how could this like go down like that and they were like you know they they were having trouble really taking that in and mm. i was like i ain't gonna lie y'all i've had trouble taking it into mm. when it comes to that whole yeah. relationship there yeah, yeah.